Hello everyone, this video is going to go through a steady state radiant heat transfer example. Uh, basically if you just had a, a some surface at a thousand Kelvin and it was surrounded by let's say the atmosphere at 298 Kelvin, what would be the radiant heat transfer in kilowatts per meter squared coming from the surface and leaving? Um, basically, if you look in any any basic heat transfer text, you would find this equation: Q dot double prime is equal to the emissivity of the surface itself times Stephen Boltzmann's constant times temperature of the surface to the fourth minus the ambient temperature to the fourth. So this equation takes into account the energy leaving the surface based on the surface temperature and the energy coming back to the surface from the ambient temperature. So if the surface was in, let's say somehow it was in a situation surrounded by absolute zero, there would be no no re-radiation back to it necessarily. Alright, so this Q dot double prime is equal to, we defined our emissivity as 0 0.85 for the purposes of this problem. Stephen Boltzmann's constant is 5.67 approximately times 10 to the negative eighth watts per meter squared Kelvin to the fourth. Now we're going to have a thousand to the fourth minus 298 to the fourth and so that's going to be equal to four point seven eight times ten to the fourth watts per meter squared which if we look at that in terms of kilowatts it's forty seven point eight kilowatts per meter squared now to put this in perspective paper usually ignites around 20 kilowatts per meter squared so this is a, a pretty significant amount of, of radiant energy coming off of this surface that's, that's at a thousand Kelvin it would um, easily ignite something like paper or cellulose one thing to note is this Stephen Boltzmann's constant if we were going to solve for this in terms of kilowatts uh, originally this this 8 would go to an 11 uh, and this would be in terms of kilowatts per meter squared Kelvin to the fourth. And I hope you found this video useful, and have a good day.